point. If I lay this part on top of the shoulders, when I raise my hands, this part will dig. Okay? So it's a combination, don't worry about looking at it. It's a combination of flat arm, okay, on top of the flattest part of the trapezius. And I bring him back until I can just comfortably sit on that point. My elbows are as tight together as I can get without choking my client, okay? So first thing is we're going to warm up the shoulders. So it's rock forward and back change position. And I only have to move this far because I'm only going to get one, two, three, two, one. I don't want to be on the bone. All right. So start high and as tight to the neck as you can get without choking and rock forward. One, little wider, two, don't lift, slide, little wider, three, don't lift, slide, back in, two, all the way back in, one, okay, and then it's push forward and arch and rock and look down, don't look up, down, one, release forward, okay, then step up tight to the shoulder, okay, and stand up straight, line the jaw up with the inside line here between the two bones, point the way you want to go, don't, don't flex the head, just point the way you want to go, and then the inside corner of the knee goes 180 degrees the opposite way. When those two go down together, if the head is up straight, vertical, when I do those two things together, I, get a re I go to resistance, okay? For flow, that's as far as I go. For treatment, what I do is I go to that resistance and then a little further. And what I'm trying to do is get the point of the chin to go over the point of the shoulder, okay? Come back to center, neutral, okay? So it's flat part, push forward, points make contact, and then arch. The purpose of the points is to get this part of the back right here to arch. If this doesn't arch or open up, then all I'm doing is getting him to lean back. Leaning back is down here. I'm trying to get a lean, if you will, a bend up here, not down there. So I, that's why we have a a, these are neurologic points also, okay, control points we would call them, right? So by pinning these and then pushing forward and lifting, I can actually get this part of the spine to bend, okay? So we're here, down first, down first, push forward to get the elbows involved, and then look, as I sit back, see how I'm lifting as I'm going, I'm going up here, but look what my butt's doing at the same time. And then pulling them through the arch. Here, now we go the opposite way. And a little flex at the end. And back to center, flat. Push as I drive my, push forward as I raise my hands in Namaskar Mudra. Keeping those elbows projecting, as I come back, he'll get the biggest bend that he can. And back. Love it. Love it.